beautiful friends. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumiere. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Claire and today's Pick A Card reading is a no contact reading. So it's for all of you out there who are in no contact with somebody, no communication or very little communication. So I'm going to be taking a look at the energy surrounding your connection, uh, what's going on with your person, what they're thinking and feeling, any future energies, and just trying to get a sense of whether or not they are thinking about contacting you if they want to reach out to you as well. Remember, this is just a snapshot of the energy. It's a blend of your intuition and my intuition, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's take a look. I've got three groups for you. It's three crystals for you to choose from today. Group one is the Celestite Cluster, group two is the Appetite Palmstone, and group three is the Malachite Slice. Take as much time as you need, all beautiful crystals, but choose from your intuition rather than by sight. Listen to that inner voice, let it guide you as to which of the groups will resonate with you today. When you have made your selection, all your timestamps are in the description box below this video. If you actually click on the timestamp, it will take you to the part of the video, which is your group, all right? And I will see you there. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one and the beautiful Celestite Cluster Crystal, beautiful sparkly calming energy from this crystal. All right, let's pick, excuse me, pick a couple of oracle cards to begin your reading. Uh, get the general energies around this no contact situation with your person today. All right, we have the card Flow, a beautiful full, full moon image on this card. So this, uh, that may be significant to you. So I feel like there's gonna be some shifts and some changes um, around the time of the full moon for you uh, in this connection or between uh, the next full moon that you experience and the lunar month after that. So between those times. This is also speaking to me about cycles, right? about kind of going in cycles energetically with things, like there's a time for everything, okay, this may be the no, no contact sort of time, but this is like nothing ever stays the same, things are gonna change, you know, and it's also like an invitation from spirit, can you flow with this? Often we get very, very tense, we wanna hold on to things, we wanna control the outcome, spirit is just saying, go with the flow of this, let it unfold naturally, release your grip a little bit on this situation and it's going to work out well for you, okay? Oh my goodness, you get the card Sacred Union. This is so beautiful. So I feel like this is a connection that's really blessed by spirit. You could be twin flames, definitely soulmates, but I feel like part of this flow is really saying this kind of ebb and flow in this connection, in this relationship is just like, yeah, you, they may have pulled back, they may have pulled away from you like the tide, right? but they will come back towards you and that there is a journey towards union, sacred union with your person, that this is a connection that is blessed by spirit. I'm sorry about that. It's actually the sun. Uh, shining uh, on my card, which is a treat for us in England. It makes a change. Um, so yeah, Sacred Union coming out for you. A powerful opening to your reading. So let's see. <clears throat> this flow has a lot to do with the emotions as well, kind of flowing with different emotional states and kind of landscapes of things. And it's just like this is energy here. Um, because it's kind of all in darkness, that there's a lot that's still to be revealed to you, you know, that kind of night going into day kind of energy, that sort of flow as well. What I'm hearing from spirit is there's a time for everything. Let's take a look at your tarot. Okay, so the general theme of your reading is the King of Wands. So uh, Leo's energy showing up here very strongly, maybe Aries or Sagittarius as well. So... There's a lot of passion in this connection for sure, right? And I think you can sense this, that you can still feel them energetically. You're just like, I know that, you know, even though maybe you're in no contact, you know that they've got a lot invested in you, right? That they're still connected to you energetically. I feel like you are sharing a lot of energy energetically, right? In the 5D, you're together. In the 5D, you're sharing a lot of kind of information about your feelings, about your feeling state, about what it is that you're thinking, your emotions. 
Um, for those of you who are intuitive, I think you can sense this, okay? There's a lot of passion in this connection, right? A lot of uh, physical attraction, but just like a lot of energy around this, I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot of kind of butting heads or arguments or kind of not getting on the same page with this because there's so much kind of energy behind it, a lot of intensity is what I'm hearing from spirit. So, but this is about kind of taking action as well. So it's just like, let's explore this further, but there is this energy of taking action, uh, showing up in your reading, kind of empowered action as well. Wow. Okay, you get the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy showing up here. Look, yeah, someone has chosen to walk away from this love and this union. This is what I'm seeing. What I'm hearing from Spirit is they've turned their back on this. This is a powerful connection. If you're feeling like, like, you know, this is kind of, you've never felt anything like this before. You've never felt this connected to anybody like this before. It's never felt this deep before. This is why it's a very powerful spiritual connection, right? You've definitely um, in each other's lives for a reason. And if you can find that meaning in this, um, that's really going to kind of help you. It may be that you need things to develop or you need the fullness of time to really kind of understand this connection. But... I do feel like, you know, you were fated to meet, but you have your own free will and your person has their own free will. I wonder why this has happened. Let's explore this further, but I see this strongly that they've walked away from this or that, I, you know, what I'm hearing from spirits, they've turned their back on the love that is here and on this connection and on this union. A lot of twin flame and soulmate energy here with this sacred union and now this two of cups showing up. A very, very powerful connection with a lot of love here, right? From their higher self, there is a lot of love here and, you know, a lot of passion and attraction. You're really drawn to one another, right? Exactly. I'm hearing opposites attract as well. I don't know why. Maybe you are uh, opposite in a lot of ways. Maybe to do with your interests or your outlook or your backgrounds or something like this um, or your physical appearance but I'm getting that but energetically you are like exactly on the same frequency you mirror each other so completely like really vibing together but it's just like such a strong energy and there's disappointment here because it's like yeah there is an energetic connection there is investment here and yet somebody in this connection has still chosen to turn their back on it Let's take a look. Right. Three of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Three of Cups showing up in your reading. This is like... There is an energy of a strong third party here. Right? If this is the case for you, remember this is just a general reading. I... I'm not telling you something you don't already know. I'm not calling this out. But if you kind of sense that or you already know or you suspect it, then this is why. It doesn't necessarily mean cheating. It could just be like, uh, you know, that they're not over an X or that they are, that third party energy could be interference from somebody in their circle, maybe their friendship group or their family or something like this, right? This is what I'm seeing. You know, definitely could be from their friends with this Three of Cups. Or there could be a friendship that they have in their life that, uh, you know, sparks jealousy. This can be vice versa as well. It can spark jealousy in the connection or you feel like is too flirtatious or like they're sharing their energy with other people or you feel like they're talking to other people. Like what it feels like to me is that the connection is too open or that their energy is too open to other people, Right. This could be you, it could be them. So, or it could be for you that you are already in a connection or in a situation ship, or maybe um, this person that you're asking about today, you're asking about this, but you're still like in like quite a confusing situation and maybe you're not quite over your ex or something like this. And that's the energy that's showing up. But I feel like there are, there is another energy or other people's energy is, is involved in this, um, in this connection. But there is love here with this King of Cups. This is like, 
your energy showing up here you're just like yeah I, I do want to work on this you know or can we work on this or like I feel like you'd be happy just to connect as friends at this moment I feel like you really vibe with one another kind of the way um, that you perceive this 3D reality is kind of similar and that you really vibe with one another and there's like a connection there right there's like an actual like intimacy like a connection there that you don't experience with just anybody that you have a lot of uh fun times with this person that there's been a lot of laughter you may have met them through work or through your friends as well so let's take a look at what's going on with your person how are they feeling right now spirit how is group number one's person feeling about this connection wow this is a powerful reading you guys Right, they get Judgment, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So Gemini's energy, Aquarius energy showing up here. Yeah, they're waking up to something. They're waking up to the spiritual nature of this connection. They definitely, um, they, they're desperate to come towards you with this Knight of Swords energy. There's still so much energy in this connection. This isn't something that is withered. This isn't something that is spent or has died or is kind of, um, is over. Like... If you're still feeling their energy, this is why. They're waking up to kind of their like their authentic self, their authentic feelings, the spiritual nature of this connection. I definitely see a reunion here with this beautiful Six of Cups energy with you. Like a reunion of two soul, souls, soulmates, right? And it's like they want to come towards you so much. I don't know what's stopping them from doing that with this Knight of Swords. But like... This is really at the forefront of their mind all the time that they want to kind of be with you, that they want to bridge that gap, that they want to come towards you. I feel like there's a lot that they want to say to you. I feel like they, there's this energy where they feel like they may have been hasty in something that they've said or something that they did or the, the, the excuse me, the decision that they made, the decision that they made to walk away. And now there is a desire here to make amends is what I'm seeing. And there is a strong desire to come towards you to to reunite with you to express their love they've got a lot that they want to say to you for definite but if this judgment is good it's just like it's like they could kick themselves is what i want to say it's just like it's like such a powerful realization i've just like wow i wish i hadn't have done that or of what it is that they've lost by behaving the way they did or by walking away from this, right? It's like by having that space, by having that silence, they're kind of left in their own energy. And when they're left in their own energy, they're just like, what is it that I want the most? I want to be united. And they want to rush back towards you. They want to come towards you. What's going on with them? Okay, you get the Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. I'm getting a few messages here. So there is a lot of regret here with this Five of Cups. They may feel like there's no way back, right, from this. This may be why, even though they have this strong desire to come and reunite with you, um, they may feel like there's no way back from this. They're just like, they'd be too ashamed is what I'm hearing, or that they'd look too vulnerable, or... Um, they don't know, you know, what it is that they could ever do for you to accept them or to kind of get, get over what has happened between you in the past, right? I feel like for some of them, they maybe came from an unhappy home with this Four of Wands. There's just something here about, like, you, you don't know what the truth is. It's so what I've heard from Spirit when I pulled these cards is that you don't know what the truth is. And it's like there's something that maybe they've held back from you or that they've hidden from you that is like close to their heart, their inner sanctuary. It could be to do with their, their home life as a child. Maybe they were um, in foster care or adopted or something like this, or um, that there was an unhealthy or toxic home environment in their life and that this has cast a long shadow over them. This is just a message for some of them. Or it could be just now that their home life is difficult and that's the... Um, that is causing some issues for them. And 
and you're not aware of this, okay? That's just a message for some of you. But yeah, there's this energy of stability here as well. They're feeling more grounded in themselves, more stable in themselves. And there is a realization here with this Ace of Swords. Okay, they have got clarity around this situation now, whereas before maybe things were a little bit muddied, a little bit confused. They, you know, when they made that decision to walk away from this or turn their back on this, they kind of, it's like Spirit is saying they weren't in their right mind. There was like a lot of um, confusion around them. But the truth is they want to get closer to you. They want to reach you in that inner sanctuary. They want to get closer to you to reach out to you, right? Um, and speak their truth. Mm, let's take a look. Yeah, I love this. Right, future energies. You get the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Page of Cups. Taurus energy, Virgo's energy showing up in your reading. Look at that. So they are, they want to come towards you. I feel like it's going to be slow. It's kind of like this tentative energy. It's very, you know, especially with this Page of Cups. I feel like they're going to come towards you with an apology. They want a fresh start. These two together, the Fool and the Page of Cups. I love this for you. This feels very strongly like an apology to me. I see them reaching out to you, being able to make contact with you. And it looks like an apology, you know, like the fool is carrying this white rose. It's just like wanting to create peace here. Like, or just like even just saying, can we just be friends or something like this. They still love you though. They still have feelings for you. There's like this kind of I want to say embryo, so there may be a little baby, but just like this, this like this seed of love here, which could grow, or which can grow and will grow. So it looks very strongly like they're going to come towards you with an apology, but it feels very tentative. Like they're not sure how you're going to react. They have a fear within them that if they reach out to you, that you will, that they'll get a lot of. Um, that you will push them away or block them or there'll, there'll be drama or they'll be kind of made to pay for what it is that they've done and they just they're scared of this i feel like i want to like make myself small um and that's what they're afraid of which is kind of holding them back so you like energetically you can create that in, the, in your mind you can say this is a safe space i accept you right you can send that psychic message to them but i see them coming forward but it may be quite tentative to begin with right in terms of, you may just get the hey text or something like that's not initially very meaningful. They, but they want forgiveness, is what I'm hearing. Wow, we have, I'm afraid of intimacy. So intimacy isn't necessarily physical intimacy, it can be. Uh, this is from the Wild Heart Oracle deck, one of the Lumiere decks. Um, but that intimacy can be, you know, that um, connection. You know, and this is what I see here with this Eight of Cups and this Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups turning their back on that, turning their back on that kind of deeper connection. May not be what they're used to or what they're comfortable with. You know, really opening up to somebody, you know, having an open heart. I need to regain my equ equilibrium. Definitely see that here, but this time of, of you being apart has given them this opportunity to become to come home to their own energy, right? And to kind of get a little bit centered. Like I was saying, there was a lot of uh, chaos and confusion surrounding their energy. And now in this point of stillness is what I'm hearing. They are, um, they're feeling much more balanced, which is giving them a lot of clarity, okay? We have the card journey. This could be a physical journey, maybe in separate cities or like a separate part of the world. Um, to one another so this could be long distance for some of you not for all of you uh, but I feel like this is the main message that I'm getting is this is a spiritual journey uh, that you're both on together to be honest uh, what I'm hearing in spirits is it's about the journey not the destination so you may be focused on like wanting to be in union and wanting this and wanting that but there are kind of uh, there's lessons and expansion that you can experience along the way You guys, 
you get the card message. Set it properly in focus. I really want you to be able to see it. I really hope you can. There's a lot of light flashing back today. You get the card message. A beautiful white feather represented on there. So that may be a sign for you in your connection as well. But if you want to know if they're going to reach out, group number one, I'm getting chills. This is a really powerful connection. I don't think this is over. There's so much energy still in this. And I see them wanting to reunite with you. I see them wanting to apologize to you. And I definitely see them reaching out with a message for you. So set that as your intention be open to that you know none of this oh no this will never happen because you know remember the law of assumption more powerful than the law of attraction you know assume that it will happen and it will happen for you wow that was a powerful reading do give it a like if you've got some benefit out of this reading um, if you enjoyed it, it's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube and I really appreciate it. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful self-study course, Manifest a Specific Person. I've created it all from the heart. It's excellent value. In my opinion, it's eight hours of video training with me. We've got a workbook, we've got meditations, the whole lot. It will really help you to get into alignment uh, with this person who's coming towards you. But it's been my honor to read your cards. Thank you for sharing your beautiful time and energy with me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group, group number two, excuse me, and this beautiful Appetite Palmstone. Okay, I'm going to begin with some oracle cards to get the general energy surrounding your no contact situation, and then we will jump into your tarot. Look at this. Fulfillment, a beautiful ripe peach on this card. So yeah, I feel like what I'm hearing from Spirit is this is a fulfillment of your desires. I do feel like there is a lot of kind of uh, sexual energy and sexual desire here between you and your person as well. But we will explore this further, but this feels like uh, a very kind of rich connection that you have between you, you know, that there's a lot to explore, that it's very fulfilling in terms of sharing um, each other's energy, ideas, um, like physical expression as well. So I love this, a nice juicy peach. And we have the card Sorrow, okay? So it may be that um, somebody in this connection is feeling a lot of loss, loneliness, sadness as a result of losing something or the perception of loss over something which brought a lot of satisfaction, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of beauty and wonder into the, their life and that there is a lot of pain here is what I'm hearing from Spirit. And what I'm hearing from Spirit is that pain is on both sides. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness. This is the card that you get from the Lover's Oracle. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. So what I'm getting from this is really just like, you feel like you've lost a lot and that there is that this is hopeless and that there is no hope here, right? I just feel like that's whoever I'm connecting with. This is the kind of headspace that they're in. We've got to remember the law of assumption. What we assume to be true is generally true for us. So if you're just like, this can never be fixed. They don't want to know me. This could never work out. This will become uh, your reality here. So it's just like, I think this is beautiful because it is beautiful, new, fresh energy, and it's a new path. So it feels like taking a new road, right? Because I just feel like if you continue down this road that you're on, it's going to be like more of the same. So it's like choosing this new road, which may be unfamiliar, maybe, um, you know, not what you're used to or a little bit out of your comfort zone or maybe you can't kind of see into the distance as to what's going to happen but it's choosing that new road and just being like yes I'm willing to do things differently you know that new road represents doing things differently like within yourself releasing those limiting beliefs releasing the fears that you have right now around what can happen and allowing yourself to go down that road of positivity of possibility and then seeing where that takes you you know where that road leads does it lead to somebody new or does it lead back to the this person and 
like a healthier, more positive, more loving, more beautiful exchange, right? Well, let's explore the cards a little bit more, but this is definitely um, about releasing what has happened between you in the past, kind of not dwelling on it, not thinking. I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing or just, um, what do I want to say? I can't remember right but of um dwelling on the past and past energies and what has happened right uh, rather than thinking about the beautiful possibilities and the beautiful future that you can create so it says release it and embrace those new possibilities so i feel like what spirit is saying is there needs to be a shift in consciousness in order for this contact this message to come in for you um and i get it there's no judgment for me you know it's so easy to slip into that those energies of like, I'll feel like this forever, this is never going to work, all of this, right? Let's step into, uh, you know, being invited to step onto that new path of like, I'm ultra magnetic, everything I want just comes to me, right? Um, my person really desires me, uh, my person thinks I'm so attractive, my person and I, it's natural for us to be in constant communication, right? You know, can that be the path that you take from now on? Let's take a look at your tarot, see what's going on in this situation. Ten of Cups, you see, this is where the new path leads you. Ten of Cups, a lot of fulfillment. Yes. There can be fulfillment in this connection. This is what's coming in for you, this fulfillment here. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment in this union, in this exchange of love between you both. Like, this is just like, I want to say like maximum feelings, maximum love here. So, um... I, th I see that as very positive. It may be that you're going through a difficult time now, but what I'm hearing from Spirit is that this is just a phase. Let's take a look. Okay. Page of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely a strong energy of maybe rejection, of kind of abandonment with this. I feel like there is... Maybe you're kind of a, a bit of a crossroads or like a stalemate is what I'm getting with this energy of just like kind of being uh, stuck with this. There is still that spark here with this page of wands. There is still that spark of attraction, of desire. There is still love here. You know, there's kind of interest on both sides is what I'm hearing, right? And yet it feels like there's this impasse where you're just like, you couldn't get onto the same page, excuse me, the same page. You couldn't meet in the middle with something. There was like an issue that like just, you couldn't agree on is what I'm hearing, right? Maybe that's about the future or about the, the like uh, the, the boundaries around this relationship, the terms of this connection, something like this. And it's left it kind of uh, somebody in this connection feeling very isolated right um and out in the cold and this does also indicate that kind of lack mentality as well that we were talking about earlier of just like nothing ever works out for me um this is you know i feel abandoned this is over all of that sort of energy so could be you could be your person wow you get the magician, you get the lovers, and you get the queen of pentacles. Powerful energies. Look how beautiful this is. This is amazing. Again, this speaks of fulfillment here, of emotional fulfillment, of the kind of the fulfillment of this possibility between you and this person. I feel like someone in this connection is manifesting union to develop this connection for the long term, right? This is soulmate energy. This is twin flame energy. This is a powerful connection. When I see the magician and the lovers like this and the queen of pentacles, this is just like, I'm seeing kind of roots in the ground, being able to kind of, these roots reaching down into the core of the earth in order to kind of create, um, to bring energy into this, to bring new energy into this connection, right? But definitely this energy, whether you know it or not, I feel like you're manifesting each other. This is very powerful. You have 
And I think you're aware of this. You have all the ingredients in this connection to really make this work. Your manifesting power is on fire right now. So if you're just like in an energy of sorrow or doubting yourself or um, doubting your ability to be able to create your own reality, Spirit is saying, don't do that. This is powerful. You can, um, you can create the future that you desire. But what I see here is like a miraculous change in circumstances and a union and you are definitely united in the 5d in spirit okay there are energetic cords between you okay and i see a transformation coming here which brings you together some divine timing right that brings you into alignment when you let go of your fears is what i'm hearing from spirit right in order to explore uh the fulfillment right with this queen of pentacles the richness of this connection the possibility of this connection right i like it it's giving me chills it's like a lot of this is to do with your own perception of things right you can choose that or we can in these situations we can choose that lack lens through which to see life or we can choose the lens of abundance and with this all this message of fulfillment and manifestation this is like an invitation for you to kind of step back into your power in this i feel like you've been feeling a little bit disempowered maybe a little bit sorry for yourself or well, this could be your person right and that's okay you're human but there is so much potential here which can be explored Okay, Spirit, how is it your person, group number two's person feeling right now? What is going on with group number two? How are they feeling, the person? All right. Okay. Mm. Right, you get the Eight of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Hermit. Virgo's energy showing up here. Also, uh, Leo's energy, sorry, I forgot to mention, um, Gemini's energy as well. So that may resonate with you in your situation um cancer pisces scorpio showing up with this king of cups energy it's interesting they're feeling the distance between you they do love you right there are loving feelings here they think of you like very sweetly very fondly they've got a lot of respect for you that i see i feel like things are very much up in the air right now for them we've got to see where the kind of pieces fall where all the pieces land right so there is a lot of energy that's kind of um not materialized into form yet they value your connection very strongly definitely more soulmate energy showing up here as well and a lot of love here with this king of cups this ten of cups this lovers right this magician really says this is a magical connection that you have with this person but this hermit energy is really saying look they're in their own energy right now i feel like they're still thinking of you i feel like there's this energy where they're they're torn within themselves right whereas like they're anchored in this they have feelings for you sometimes they want to come towards you Right? And sometimes they want to kind of be in their own energy. What I'm hearing, hearing from spirit, God, I can't find my words today, is that they are, they need time to think. Is what I'm hearing from spirit, that they need time to think. So it's not that they don't care. If you're just thinking, I feel like they don't even care about me. They do care about you. And they know that this is a journey that they're going on, but they're keeping themselves to themselves. And I see that silence here with the hermit, but it's like they need time to think. Okay, nine of pentacles, seven of swords and the page of cups. There's something here where they are keeping themselves isolated or keeping themselves kind of alone or single or out of relationships or out of a kind of deep connection, right? Because they self-sabotage, right? Page of Cups 
it's like they're, they're not doing themselves any favors is what I'm hearing from spirit. It's not because they're a bad person. I don't want to cast shade on your person or anything like this. This is just the kind of shadow energies that we're taking a look at now. And there's something here whereby uh, they, they value their independence. They value their independence and they fear intimacy, closeness, relationship because they feel like they have to give up a lot or they perceive it as giving up a lot, you know, having to think about somebody else, having to consider somebody else's needs and wants and desires. Um, what I'm hearing from spirit is they fear that they don't have what it takes to be able to meet somebody else's needs. Right? They feel like they can only just kind of manage to, they're only kind of working out their own energy and meeting their own needs and working out what their own boundaries are. And so there is this pattern that they have with this uh, seven of swords to self-sabotage. Um, you know, there can be like new love coming in for them, right? Or just something that feels like maybe this kind of didn't get very far, maybe it was a few dates and some flirtation and then they ghosted you or something like this. It feels like, yeah, there was a lot of flirtation here, there was a lot of fun here, there was a lot of possibility here and you felt it because it's a spiritual connection, right? And yet uh, there's this energy of self-sabotage, like of it not filling its potential because they kind of cut it down before it had a chance to really develop or for it to go deeper. But there's something here where they value their independence and getting close to somebody feels like pressure or it feels like um, like a trigger to them because they're just like, well, you know, am I good enough or, or can I really meet somebody else's needs or something like this. this. What I'm hearing from spirit is that they feel like it's safer a little bit, right? This is their issue, right? The the shadow aspect of their their being, right? Um, where it feels safer to be on their own because then, like, if I'm on my own, I don't hurt anybody. If I'm on my own, um, I won't get hurt, right? So they have this propensity to kind of want to be on their own. It may be that they have that they're a little bit of a loner in some aspects. Maybe that they have friends and they socialize and things like this, but they kind of, it doesn't kind of go too deep. It's a little bit superficial, like surface level. So I feel like there was something here that had a lot of potential, that had a lot of beauty in it, that felt like a very deep connection, but didn't uh, develop into something more because they kind of, they cut it down. It's like harvesting a, a, a flower for a bouquet before it was kind of ready to, to bloom or to blossom, something like this. energies coming through knight of cups justice high priestess so uh pisces energy showing up here very strongly and libra's energy as well so they want to come towards you with this offer of love definitely with this knight of cups right there is forward motion there is energy coming towards you with this and they're going to reveal something to you that was previously hidden from you this justice is like about kind of I don't know, it's like the truth coming out here. There's something about this connection that you don't know or something about your person that you uh, previously didn't understand or didn't know about them or they haven't spoken. And there's a reason why they're being like this. There's this reason why they self-sabotage. There's this reason why um, they're in no contact with you. Like everybody behaves the way they do for a reason and I just feel like that hasn't really come to the surface yet but I feel like the truth, they want to come towards you with the truth that they've been hiding from you. I don't think this is shadiness, this is something to do with something that they hold inside, um, to do with their own vulnerability, right? But I do see them wanting to reach out to you, I do see them coming into contact with you. I feel like what it is that they're coming towards you with is something that is very meaningful. It's going to create a lot of clarity for you. It's going to bring a lot of balance into your uh, connection and resolution as well. If you feel like, you know, you've not got closure, I'm not saying that they're coming to you with closure, but just like uh, maybe closing off a cycle or um, I feel like this, it, it feels like there hasn't been a very clean break with this and you're just left with a lot of questions, right? Of just like, 
what was that? What happened here? I don't understand it. Or you went MIA, you know, and you're just, you've been left high and dry a little bit. They are going to come up with the goods and you're going to be able to get insight and clarity into that because previously that has been hidden from you. Like this part of themselves that they've been hiding is going to be revealed. It's going to come to the surface. And that's going to create some sort of definitive solution for you to move forward. Strong feelings here between both of you. A lot of emotion. Let's see what message they have for you. Mm, you are teaching me how to love. That is so interesting. After we were saying, you know, that they struggle to get close, that they have this propensity to be a bit of a loner, to let kind of let someone in. And they want to tell you, I miss you every single day. I see that here with that five of pentacles and that hermit energy. They're really feeling lonely. They're kind of struggling with this, struggling internally with their own emotions. <laughs> we have put away the computer. I've never drawn this card before. Put away the computer, it says working less will help strengthen your relationship. So it could be that um, maybe they don't have the bandwidth for this connection because they work quite long hours or they're working quite hard or they're studying quite hard, right? Or it could just be that they're like addicted to their phone in some way and that this has been unhelpful. We have go slow, take time to get to know each other. This is what I was talking about, this new path that you're going down. Um, when you do that, this new path that you choose, it's like an unfolding process. And just taking the time, you know, and it being about the journey, not the destination, you know, just like, I just want everything to be fixed, I want everything to be sorted, you know, what can you learn along the way, what can you experience, what can you um, explore, right? And take it slowly, maybe you want to just like invest in yourself a little bit, maybe you want to um, set the pace for this so I see them coming towards you but it's going to be like a little bit of a slow burn but I think that's going to create a lot of safety for both of you like emotional safety wow you get the card on wedding this is powerful this is like just the energy of commitment right of union coming in again you know mirroring that ten of cups that lovers energy union here and of this having a lot of potential for a higher level commitment between you both so what i'm hearing from spirits if you i feel like you've been in this space where you're just like all is lost and spirit is saying all is not lost there's a lot to still explore here and this can go to the next level that's everything that I have for you in this reading. It has been my honor to read your cards. As always, I've loved it so very much. If you feel called to, check out my books, Attract Soulmate Love and Feminine Frequency. They are for the feminine energy partner. That's the partner who likes to be pursued, who likes to receive. Feminine energy is a really hot topic right now. If you want to learn more about that, how you can express yourself through your feminine energy, how you become magnetic to love through your feminine energy so that you do not need to look for love or chase love or earn love. It just comes to you naturally and effortlessly so you can get into alignment with your beloved. Then these books are definitely for you. There's a lot of wisdom there. It's all the stuff that I wish I had known years ago. Uh, they are linked in the description box below this video, but I'm sending you love in your situation. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three in this amazing Malachite slice. Check that out, it is absolutely incredible. Okay, let's find out what's going on with you. I'll begin with some oracle cards to get some general energy surrounding this situation between you and your person, and then we will jump into your tarot. Okay, you're opening the reading with this card of change. So this is definitely highlighting from Spirit that this is a time of transition for you. This is what I'm hearing from Spirit. So change can feel difficult, okay? It can feel like we're in unfamiliar territory. We can feel afraid of the future. I feel like this is some of the energies that I'm picking up on from the collective. So yeah, there's gonna be changes 
taking place but I feel like this is good because I just feel like if you carry on down the same road you're going to get more of the same so I feel like a change is needed in this connection in order to create success and you get the card courage as well mirroring that strength energy from the tarot so it's just like what I'm hearing from spirit is face your fears and I'm feeling it very strongly in the heart chakra so it may be the case that there is um, a fear within you or maybe in your person or of abandonment, a fear that maybe this is over forever, a fear of vulnerability. We'll explore it further, but you are being asked during this transitional phase in this connection or even in your life to connect to your inner strength. What I'm hearing from spirit is you are stronger than you realize, okay? So connect deep within to your own power, which you do have, don't give your power away. Connect to your inner power, get rooted, get grounded, feel strong in yourself, right? And um, as you navigate this period of transition and change, maybe the case that there's a lot kind of changing in your life right now, um, in terms of your location or your job or your financial situation or with your person or your family situation or there's a lot of kind of problem solving things going on and it feels like a maelstrom of kind of emotion of change of kind of not being able to get settled so this is the energy that i'm picking up on right so it's just like connect to that inner courage and what i'm seeing with that courage is just it's like a rock Okay, it's kind of what you can cling on to in a stormy sea where everything around you is really crazy or where your emotional landscape is really crazy. You can cling on to that and that will be something solid for you. Okay, beautiful. We have the card answered prayer. Oh, connect to your angels and guides in this situation they want to connect with you through angel numbers through messages through signs i'm hearing particularly through songs as well um, but this is beautiful angelic e energy coming in here to soothe is what i'm hearing some of these um difficult emotions right to soothe some of that and i really feel like this answered prayer you know whatever it is that you've been praying for that you've been asking the universe for your prayers will be answered this is a sign from spirit it feels like kind of compassion and gentleness coming in for you when maybe you've been connecting to a lot of uh sharp or or difficult energies right or emotions particularly Let's take a look at your tarot and create some space, but not so much space that my cup of tea moves out of reach, right? Um, let's take a look at your tarot, see what's what in this connection. Right, general theme is the hanged man. Things are on pause right now, definitely, during this transitional period, this uh, period of change. Um, your energies are very much bound up to one another. I do see that here. I feel like you're holding on to one another at this time, energetically, is what I'm seeing. And as a result of this connection, you are seeing things differently as well. Or your person is definitely going through some changes, right? That could be what you're facing here. You're waiting for them to change, for them to assimilate their emotions or their understanding in this connection. But they're seeing things in this new light. It's just like you have turned their world upside down. And, uh, you know, that is no small thing in, in life, right? So that could be to do with their life circumstances. Uh, it could be to do with their emotional landscape, the way that they view the world as a result of meeting you but it feels like things are on pause that you're sort of waiting there's this like i'm hearing it's a waiting game like this but you're still bound to each each other's energies which is why you can't let go of them or you can't forget them because you're bound together energetically right yeah okay let's see what else is going on for you super interesting Right, you get the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, and the King of Swords, Soulmate. Look, right in the center, the Lovers. Soulmate energy, Twin Flame energy showing up here. Uh, you know, it's been for coming out for the collective as well. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of power in this connection. Wanting to bridge that gap 
it's like you've been brought together across time and space is what I want to say in order to kind of realize some sort of truth. These are past energies that we're looking at so it feels like it feels like one of those things like it's a movie or something like you were living your life and they were living their life and then your paths crossed you kind of like maybe bumped into each other or just like came into alignment with one another in quite an amazing way um like with divine timing that if like you'd said no to that invitation or you'd been 10 minutes later you wouldn't have come into alignment with them there's some sort of energy like that have you kind of really or just like your worlds colliding is what i'm hearing from spirits right? You and this person, your world's really colliding. I feel like you've been brought back together as well, that you've been together in many lifetimes or known each other, not necessarily romantically, right? You are like, or maybe even from different dimensions, different uh, parts of the galaxy maybe, and yet there is this force here, this force of nature with this eight of wands, which has brought you into one another's lives, and you, it's like you've collided together, and now you're just like, you've experienced that energy and it's been like an initiator for you, right? With this King of Swords, it's initiated some sort of truth for you. Maybe it's kind of revealed some sort of truth about your life, about yourself, about your personality, about your limiting beliefs, um, about your direction in life. I feel like they've come into your life as a messenger, right? Whatever it is that's going on with you now in this no contact situation, this is just the messages that are coming up for me right now. They, they've collided into your life, into your energy, and these energies could um, resonate vice versa. It could be that you, you both uh, serve as that role for one another, or that they are for you, or that you are for them, but there's this energy that they are like a spiritual messenger who's coming to reveal a truth to you, a truth about... Um, I don't know, we'll have to explore this further, but it could be to do with something that you previously haven't seen or understood about yourself or vice versa, you know, that they haven't previously seen or understood about themselves. So it's like they've come to illuminate, they've come to uh, bring the truth in order for you to move forward. And I'm hearing from Spirit that they are an initiator in your life, uh, regardless of what's going on in your situation right now, this new perspective that you have as a result of meeting each other or the new perspective that you have given them either you or them are acting as an initiator for like a new phase or a new understanding in your life that's the kind of spiritual aspect of this connection Yeah, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the World, and the Knight of Wands showing up here. So I just feel like, you feel like there's a lot of long-term potential here, like it's put you in touch of a part of yourself where you feel worthy, where you feel like more expansive in some way. You see a lot of long-term potential with this person. There is like this, I feel like, you, there's the closing off of a cycle with this world energy. I feel like there may have been a lot of inconsistency from your person with this knight of wands. There is passion here, there is desire here, right? This could be a long distance connection as well. I'm getting that very strongly or just like that you're in different cities where there is this or, or from different cultures maybe, different backgrounds for some of you, but I just sense that maybe there's a distance, a physical distance between you. And then you meet up and you have a good time and then you're apart again for some of you, or it could be the case that there is an inconsistency here um, that's showing up where you're just like, this feels electric, this feels magnetic, it feels like there's a lot to explore here, right? Um, and yet it may not have fulfilled that potential. It's just like you see a lot of potential here. I think you're working through a lot of karma with this person as well. Um, let's see how it is that they feel. Like unfinished business is what I'm hearing. There's some sort of unfinished business either right now with this person or from a past life. Wow. Wake up call is what I'm hearing. The tower, king of pentacles and judgment showing up here. Uh, Gemini's energy showing up, Libra's, um, excuse me, Libra's energy, Virgo's energy, Taurus energy, Leo, did I say that? 
yeah, that's what we've got, Taurus, yeah. Wake up call. That is the energy that I'm getting from your person. They've had some sort of wake up or kind of like shake up. I don't know why this is. This could be to do with their life circumstances. It could be to do with this connection, right? Something is like, what I'm hearing from spirit is never the same again. Something has happened. They may have experienced a loss in their life, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, um, for some of them, the loss of their home, perhaps something that they thought was forever with this king of pentacles that they thought was solid that they could uh, believe in, rely on, trust, um, to be there for them has kind of been taken away from them. This could be this connection, but I sense that this has like broader implications in their life as well. So there's been like a big shake up in their life and this is really kind of changing their perception. There's this strong energy coming through um, in your reading about this change of perception with the theme being this, the hanged man and now with this judgment, okay? So they're, they're, it could be a spiritual awakening that your person is going through, you know, which ties into this, you know, having to have strength, having to have courage. This may be the, uh, the case of kind of right person, wrong time for you. Not necessarily we'll explore this further. I'm just getting that as a message for some of you. And if that is the case, it will resonate with you, right? Um, because your person is going through big changes or you are, right? Someone in this connection is having a spiritual awakening. Somebody, uh, somebody their awareness is expanding and that may be quite sort of painful for them it may not come very easily to them right um where they understand more about life and themselves and that there's more to this life than just meets the eye than just the 3d maybe that they're going you know stepping into a role where they're becoming more spiritual or where they are or you are right uh stepping into a role as a light worker as an intuitive um as kind of like a maybe someone who's coming to help save humanity right for some of you not for all of you but this has just been like big big changes you know and we saw that here with this change this tower represents a big big change in something that they thought was solid it could have been like a belief system something that they believed about life or about you or about themselves that they took to be true and now they're like wow, that's not true, and if that's not true, I don't know what is, right, with this judgment. But they are waking up, they're kind of receiving the call, this is kind of quite spiritual. Okay, so they've, right, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They feel like they've lost something very beautiful. They feel like they've lost what I'm hearing from Spirit is a sacred love. I don't know why this has happened or what's going on. There's this energy of kind of depression, of feeling sorry for themselves a little bit in this situation, of disappointment, a strong disappointment here. I don't know what's going on with you guys. I mean, you tell me. With this Ten of Cups, you know, this is complete emotional fulfillment and yet there is a loss surrounding this. But in this is the seed of hope with this Ace of Pentacles, like the seed of a new beginning, the seed of hope, the seed of possibility, right? It's like that quote from Rumi, where there is ruin, there is hope for a treasure, something like that. I've probably got it wrong. This is what I'm seeing. I just feel like the landscape feels quite bleak. There's a lot of, lot of chaos, a lot of um, things that are up in the air, things that may feel like they've been lost, a lot of changes that have been happening, a lot of things that feel very unknown. And yet it feels very potent, right? Very powerful with this Ace of Pentacles. That there is hope for renewal. Your person really hopes for renewal right, a new beginning, a fresh start, they want to make an offer to you, because they do not want to lose this connection, this love, and there is this desire within them, which I feel isn't going to be expressed just yet, it's something um, that they are cultivating, that they are developing within them, they have this seed of hope that you still love them, that you still care, that they, you're still invested in this, 
it's like a glimmer it's something very small it's just a seed that can be developed that can grow but it needs to be nurtured right the possibility is there the potential is there all the information that you need is contained within a seed in the acorn in order to grow a mighty oak it's all in there it's all in here in this seed ready but it's potential and it needs gentle care it needs the light the water the nutrients and the the good soil it needs nurturing right um and this really feels like the renewal you know that beautiful after a stormy night where everything's wild right after all of that that experience that intensity that emotion there is a new dawn the calm the brand new day that's what I'm seeing here. And then revealing to them this desire to want to offer you something. That could be a message with this Ace of Pentacles, but like, it's just like, is there still hope here? This is their question, right? It's just like the question to you is, is there still a chance, is what I want to say, with you? Is there still a chance with you? Spiritual connection, though, you could be twin flames. You get protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Like I was saying, it's really chiming in with that change and courage. Just know that you're being taken care of throughout any struggles or difficulties. Now, finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. So it may feel like they cannot provide for you or that they're in a lot of debt um, and it's really making them worry, feel very anxious or struggle or that um, uh, like physical or external pressures could be affecting this connection, like those kind of real world 3D things that we were talking about, you know, what am I going to do, uh, where am I going to get, you know, I need to get a job or I need to get a place to live or I need to try and make ends meet or I need to make more money or just something like this. Um, that may be something that they're working through within their own energy. We have this connection feels like pressure but it's in the reverse. So I feel like they're like releasing some of the pressure that they may have put on themselves throughout all of this. Wow, their message to you, it hurts to be without you. I really see that with the Five of Cups. I feel like they're, your person's like struggling quite a lot internally. You are connected energetically very strongly. They are working through a lot of things. You're sharing a lot of energy all the time, which I think is really nice. We have, I'm so attracted to you very drawn to you it's like nobody else compares you're just like their perfect person that's what i'm hearing from spirit and i love you unconditionally very powerful so there is feelings here they do have these um deep emotions for you and i feel like i feel like the thing that's at the forefront of their mind is like is there still hope here Right. We have the card complete. I think you're completing a cycle here, but also you make them feel complete. When you're together and things are good, with that lovers, it's just like you can kind of complete each other. You get negative. I feel like someone in this connection is in a very negative headspace and also mirroring. So you're mirroring one another's energies and your thoughts. You know, if they feel hopeless, you feel hopeless. When uh, they feel more positive, you feel more positive. You, they're triggered, you're triggered, right? <clears throat> okay, we get stay optimistic and release your ex. So it may be that there's um, 
like a situation ship or that they're in another relationship they need to kind of fully release that out of that energetic field in order to move forward and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so there is i definitely see that here there's a lot of positivity here um, in this connection uh, where you can afford to feel positive about this so I don't see them reaching out to you right now. They're very hopeful that you still care about them, that you still love, that they, excuse me, that you still care about them. Um, and I do feel like they want to make you an offer. They're just like, they see the potential of this connection. Let's draw some more cards and just see, because I'm not getting like a clear idea about like what it is that they're going to do. We have transformation. This is so powerful. I just feel like as this snapshot of this energy right now that your person is going through like a strong uh, period of change, transition and transformation in order to become the person who can be in alignment with you, in order to become the person who can uh, really connect to you and explore this because there is so much potential here and they recognize that. So... That is everything that I have for you in this reading. I hope you found it helpful. It's definitely given uh, a lot of insight into the kind of the emotional landscape and what's going on with your person. So hopefully that has uh, brought you some uh, insight into your situation. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. Um, if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help to raise your vibration and dissolve any blocks that you have towards love, healing or prosperity. They are all linked in the description box below this video, but I'm sending you love and blessings in your situation and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumia. You take care. Bye-bye.